Hey guys, Adrian here from Free Range Tales Podcast. Want to do a quick review on some gear. We're going to start bringing out some gear review series and stuff like that. Nothing new, everyone's already doing it, but want to give you our take on this stuff. Today we're going to review the Bushnell Bino Harness System. They call it the Vault. So this Bino Harness, uh, I just purchased it, so it's not going to be a long-term review, but a short-term review at least, at the minimum. Uh, what I like about it so far and you know what maybe they, they can improve on on the next one. Um, but pretty cool uh, vinyl harness. It comes in, a, in what is called slate green, which is a very dark green. I thought it was a, a tan one from the pictures and stuff, ordering it, but it came out to be like this kind of darker green. Uh, so that was pretty interesting, a little different from uh, the, the video camera or the uh, computer screen when you're ordering it. But uh, I chose this one because it basically had all the features that I am looking for. It's got a magnet enclosed top, so one-handed uh, operation there with the with the magnet it stays open. Um, it doesn't go all the way flat right here. It just kind of stays open and, and rigid right here in the front. Has a pocket in the front. Comes with the uh, lens cleaner, microfiber attached there. So I keep my elk call in here. Um, of course, the side pockets for the the windicators. I keep, a, I keep a tick key over here on this side because uh, I don't like ticks. Uh, I, I did have to purchase the, the range finder pouch separate, it didn't come included. This one also has a magnet to stay open. Uh, range finder goes in there, it does come with a tether. I do add these little orange loops, we could talk about that later, all these little orange tags. It's kind of a fire rope actually. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the the long and the short of it what I do like about the rangefinder pouch is how it hooks into the the actual harness itself it has these clips right here that hook into the side and also the bottom and it keeps it rigid so what I mean by that is if you're holding it it stays in place and doesn't slide around on there so I really do like that feature. Um, that's pretty nice. The rangefinder pouch also has a, a loop, a daisy loop in it for your belt if you want to run it on your belt. You do have the option for a holster or a uh, bear spray holster as well. Um, the one thing I do kind of wish it had is the pocket in the front here. I love pockets. I love having a, a bunch of them. It does have a pocket in the back, either for your cell phone or I keep, uh, you know, little baggy with extra allen wrenches and uh, maybe a field tip or two and a couple of important stuff for that some tags for uh, the tag soup season you know when you have to eat your tags uh, so yeah it's been a, it's been so far a short term uh, review I do like the harness very simple very basic I don't like the the big cumbersome harnesses and the shoulder you know kinda like a shoulder strap that's really thick and wide I don't really like those. It messes with my backpack straps when I have my backpack on. So I do like the, the thinner ones. It does come with two of these tethers for your binos uh, if you were to drop them. It does come with two of them. I took one off because when, you, when I'm taking this on and off, this gives me the option to take off the harness completely. Um, like if I have a beanies and hats and you know jackets on. So that gives me that, heart, that, that ability to do that. If I had this one on, I would have to take off this clip also, but you know, having one on there in case it drops is perfectly fine with me. It does come with, the, uh, with like this microfiber type soft uh, material on the inside, so protects your lenses and whatnot. And it also does come with a little, kind of like a step up spacer for your shorter binos to kind of bring your binos up taller. Uh, if you're running some like eight buys or whatnot, so that's kind of nice that it has all those uh, options. Uh, this one is retailing for about seventy dollars, so not going to break the bank. The uh, the range finder pouch does run you about thirty five or so, thirty thirty five something like that. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much on the cheaper end. On, uh, of when it comes to these rangefinder, um, I'm sorry, not rangefinder pad, vinyl harnesses, they are they can get pricey, and it seems like there's a kind of a minimum price of like $200 and above, you know, that 
that's where these uh, these harnesses kind of hit those marks. So I found I did a lot of research on vinyl harnesses and wanted to pick uh, wanted to pick one that's going to hit the features that I want, but also not break the bank. And I settled with the uh, settled with the Bushnells, and so far I'm very very happy. Very good uh, magnets and um, strong magnets to where it's easy to operate one handed and it's quiet. Uh, the material seems to be pretty quiet as well, so scratching them through, you know, thrashing through brush, it's not going to really like make those scratch noises like canvas or something like that will. So that is my short term review on the Bushnell Vault Bino Harness. Uh, let me know if you got one or rocking it, what you like, what you don't like. But uh, yeah, this, that's uh, all I got for you right now on the short term review. I'll get you a long term after about a year or so and pounded uh, some miles through these things. Take care, guys.